guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how to get this makeup tutorial, which is inspired by 4th of July. I realize that 4th of July is literally tomorrow, but I'm going to try and edit this and get it up for you as soon as I possibly can. And by the way, if my voice sounds really weird, it's because I am currently suffering a severe cold. No, I'm just kidding. It's not severe, but it freaking feels severe. <laughs> I've had this cold for like the past three days, and the weirdest thing is that I actually feel better when I'm working out than when I'm just like sitting in bed doing absolutely nothing. But yeah, this is going to be a very affordable look. Um, a lot of the products I use are still available, so you can go buy them at any drugstore. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Alright, please excuse my horrid, sick voice, but we're going to be starting off today with a concealer. This is Revlon Photo Ready Concealer, and I'm applying this onto my eyelids to help the eyeshadow stay better. Moving right along, we're going to be using this white eyeshadow from this Maybelline Quad Palette, and you want to apply this directly onto the lid space. Next we'll be using a red eyeshadow. This one is from Milani. I believe it's like a baked eyeshadow. You can use it wet or dry. But what we'll be doing today is blending it into the very outer corner of the eye and pushing it in towards the white eyeshadow so that they blend in together really well. So just go ahead and blend that in the very outer corner. And now we're going to be using eyeliner. This is Maybelline Line Stiletto in blackest black I believe and I'm applying this all the way from the inner corner and extending it out to the outer corner and then making oops sorry that's my phone and then making a little wing effect so this is completely optional but you guys know I love to wear lashes when I'm doing looks I feel like it just makes them look more dramatic and put together so I put some lashes on and here I'm going in with a darker brown eyeshadow into the outer corner we're gonna create a V shape with this so make sure you use a smaller brush for this and this will help to really define the eye more and make the look more smoky Alright, so now we're going to use foundation. This is CoverGirl's Nature Luxe Foundation. And I'm applying this all over my face with a flat top kabuki brush. This is the F80 from Sigma. And I'm using circular motions to blend it in. Going back to the concealer we used at the beginning, we're going to be putting this underneath of the eyes to conceal any under eye circles. And over top, I'm going to be using my Super CC Plus Powder from Physicians Formula. I like to apply this right over top of the concealer so that it, so blah, 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 <laughs> so that it holds throughout the day. And then I also put a little bit on my nose, forehead, and chin just to highlight the center of the face. And I changed into my um, polka dot dress from Cotton On. This is the bronzer from NYC in Sunny and with a small tapered blush brush, I cannot talk, um, I'm blending this through the cheekbones, underneath of the chin, the jawline, down the nose, and also a little bit on the forehead to contour the face. For blush, I decided to use Wet n Wild Heather Silk. It's one of my absolute favorites from the drugstore because it is so crazy pigmented, and I'm using a fan brush to lightly apply this to the cheekbones to bring a little bit of color to the face. So usually with this foundation I find that it looks very cakey if you do not blend everything in very well. So I'm using this big fluffy brush to just blend, 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 blend. Alright, here is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And it has a powder and a wax. I'm first going in with the powder to define my eyebrows with a very, 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 very small brush. And then I'm going, <laughs> and then I'm going in with the wax and I'm applying that mainly to the outer corner of the eyebrow just to darken it up and to define it even more. So going back to the eyes really quickly, we're going to be using a color tattoo pigment. This is in a beautiful electric blue color, and I'm going to be using a smudge brush to apply this to the very lower lash line. I 
and going back in with the white eyeshadow, you also want to apply that into the very inner corner of the eye to brighten the eye area. And this is the last step guys, we're going to be using a lip stain so that it lasts throughout the day and you don't have to reapply it. This is by CoverGirl and it's in a really pretty rose color. And over top I'm using the gloss that comes with it. So that's basically it for this entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And if you end up trying this look out for 4th of July, I would seriously go crazy. I would absolutely love it. So please send me pictures. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.